This is Rick with Shooter 1721. Oh my, oh my. So I had so many people ask me, Rick, why don't you do springers? Why don't you do, why don't you do uh, any, you know, brake barrel under lever? And I thought, you know what? I'll say something to the friends at Air Gun Depot. And uh, I was like, what do we have that we could do for uh, a springer that we could get? And they said, how about the Air Arms TX200 Mark III? And I was like, okay i haven't shot springers in forever i haven't done it for a long time really not a whole lot anyway been shooting a ton of pcp air guns but when we got this in the first thing when you open the box you're just like whoa whoa air arms this is one beautiful gun outstanding i mean the craftsmanship when you hold this in your hands and you know you're holding something at 9.3 pounds it's just amazing. I mean, the trigger is, that's the one thing that I noticed when the first time I shot it was, wow, this trigger is just incredible. The way that the gun's correct, it has a 13, a little over a 13 inch barrel. I was like, oh my goodness, the cocking effort's like 29 pounds on the under lever, so it's not, it's not killing you or anything like that. And I was like, okay, well, let's see, you know, let's see how this shoots and uh, just how it felt in your, in your hands. I was like, Man, boy, did it shoot. I did not expect to, uh, I didn't know that there were, I know there's springers out there that shoot and do certain things, but like this, this Mark III, oh my. Yes, I have, I don't know how many PCPs, but I think if I were to own one springer, this one here definitely takes a cake, but that's enough talking about this. Let's show you what it can do. Let's get to the range and shoot this thing. Woo, come on. Okay, well, here we are at the bench, and we got our target out there at 30-plus yards, somewhere around there, 35, something like that, 22 cal here. And uh, we got this beautiful Hawk scope on here with a one-piece mount, uh, UTG one-piece mount. This Hawk scope is so clear. I, I was very, this is the 4 to 16 model, and um, very, very nice scope. Um, I'm going to shoot a five-shot group, and we're shooting some JSBs here and um, they are 18.1 I found and uh, what I did earlier in the week is you know I got to tried to spend time with this because we had so many multiple guns come in and uh, just getting some time because when you shoot a springer I think all you guys out there shoot springers you understand getting to understand how to hold uh, your springer and what's going on with that but we were able to do some uh, trick shots with it. I uh, hope you enjoy. We got two trick shots to show you. And I did uh, out in a candle at, at uh, I think, 40 yards or more. And then I uh, did some fly swatting. So I was shooting some flies off of a balloon at 40 yards. We'll have to see how they turn out. But we'll put them in the video too because during film day sometimes, you know, we just get so much going on. We got so many guns to do. That's enough talking. Let's shoot this five shot group see how we do. All right. What is that? S as soon as I go to touch the trigger, that stuff, something's going on. All right. Let's just shoot. Six hundred ten. That would be about right. They say about, uh, they're saying that uh, you're doing 755. Well, these are 18 grainers, so they're a lot heavier. So the 14s, the JSB 14s are up in the 700s. So, yeah. Okay. Didn't catch that one. And what, what I'm doing here, when you see me uh, putting the rod, when I put this back up, there's a catch, there's a button right here that you're pushing to lock that back up into place. Everything about this gun is 100% clean. It's just, it's, you know, when you're holding this gun and you're shooting this gun, everything just feels right with it. Okay, so you're going to see on that shot three, okay, 
on the shot three, um, I didn't hold as tight and I saw it walk away from the two other shots. So I'm gonna hold a little bit tighter and see if it makes, this is, we're talking about the hold sensitivity of shooting a gun like this, uh, any kind of brake barrel or spring. So I'm gonna hold just a little bit. I, I felt on that, I held that loose and the shot went high. So let's see if I can, I'll pull it a little bit tighter and see what happens. Well, that just proves my point right there. So here's something, and, and there's tons of guys out there that shoot over in England, the guys that shoot these. These guys are phenomenal. I watch them shoot, and I go, wow. You know, that's amazing. And you can see, you just heard that in the chronograph. Uh, we just have the chronograph in front of the bag right now. Um, you can hear the consistency, 610, 612, and probably the next one will be 611 or something. All right, so amazing amazing gun oh my just incredible okay i'm gonna go back to try and keep that hold well that's like 36 yards or something like that and it's just one one ragged hole i i would say i am shocked uh, to and I know there's guys out there like yeah, we do this all day long, especially my friends over in England uh, I'm shocked. I mean Of course, I don't shoot springers that much and but I can sure appreciate them. I sure appreciate air arms amazing uh, Wow, this is just Man you get these guns for review you hate to send them back This is one that you definitely you look at and you hold it and you're like man. I'd like to keep this one. That's amazing but you heard the feet per second. It's nice and clean. Uh, that, Ryan, that's an amazing group. I think if the, we didn't have the wind we had today, I would have shot it at 50, and I bet you we still hold under an inch group easy. Yeah. If we didn't deal with, you know, what we were dealing with, I think 30 plus yards was good. And that's the reason I, I picked that yardage today. Wanted to see, you know, I didn't know how tight the groups would be because we are dealing with a, a wind today that's, yeah could affect a gun that's shooting in the 600 range if you guys get what i'm saying but wow that's pretty incredible all right let's do the trigger pull test okay well one thing i really you know i wanted to show you too is you know with the trigger pull test with the springer you have to load the pellet you don't want to be dry firing it and uh just wanted to show you 29 pounds so it's a nice it's just really it's clean it's so nice so we're gonna load a pellet in here and then stick the head of your pellet and you're sticking it right, right here, right in the barrel. So the barrel's there, 13 inch barrel. Can't believe that you shot that group with it, such a small barrel. It's amazing. Then you have a safety catch here so you don't cut your fingers off and they, they, everything they did with this gun is just, everything's just tight. Tolerances are perfect. All right, so then it's going to bring you here to your safety. Now this is your one-way safety. It comes over. Oh, it's off. It's ready. Okay. So we're going to set this gun down in here. We'll set our, see what we break at. I'm curious myself. Oh my goodness. Here, here's what I was talking about. 12 ounces. Okay. Normally I shoot like three shots, but I think what I'm going to show you is I'll just show you the, the two and we'll see how close these two are. Everything about this gun's just been <laughs> solid. So, amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have to pull for a third time. You can see how close that is. That is just incredible, clean. And here's the thing about the trigger. When you're squeezing this trigger, you almost know exactly when it's going to break. It, it, it talks to you and says, hey, I'm breaking right here. So clean. So impressed. Air arms. <laughs> Hats off to you. That is just a beautiful under lever spring pit. Uh, that's just great. Oh, yeah. One thing I want to say, one thing that you definitely, for me, what I did is I went with the one-piece mount here. You actually can lock this into place. 
this is not going anywhere because that's one thing you find with your your whether it be an under lever brake barrel or whatever you'll get movement on your scope if your mounts aren't tight enough so if you're going to get a system i would definitely this hawk scope goes perfectly with this mount for this gun all right let's do some final thoughts Woo. wow 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 i definitely give it a thumbs up for <laughs> an under lever great feel like when you're holding it even for offhand sh uh, shooting even this the, the cheek piece here uh, that's just it's just everything about it. it's just it's it, when you there's something about a nice piece of english walnut i don't know what to tell you but this is very nice look at the checkering on that i'm sure ryan did some close-ups on it and wow um you get to see the accuracy at 30 plus yards and you'll get to see like i said you'll see some of the trick shots in this video you know get to check some of those out but the reason that I really I haven't done a lot of trick shots is always inconsistency with a brake barrel, a springer, or something. Then this comes along, something like this, and you you know you shoot a fly off of a balloon at 40 plus yards, and you out in a candle, and you're not doing 50 shots or anything like that. You're doing it just in within I don't know how many shots it took actually I don't remember, but you'll have to check it out on video, on this video check it out. This is Rick with Shooter 1721. Shooting the Air Arms TX200 Mark III. Thanks for watching. Woo! This is Rick with Super 1721. Look what we got here the Air Arms TX200 22 cal. We're going to do a little fly swatting here at 40 yards. Some JSB 1589. See if we can smoke that fly off of there without popping the balloon. This is a little shout out to the Springer guys that were always sending me messages. Why don't you shoot the Springer? I'm like, okay, well, we did plenty of other Springers, but I figured why not choose one of the best? So I want to thank Aragon Depot for sending this for a review. Going to have fun with this. Let's see if we can shoot a fly at 40 yards, though. Might be pretty good. Can't pop the balloon, though. flies with the air arms 20 uh, tx200 wow at 40 yards that's pretty accurate the first two are just bringing it down to where we didn't pop the balloon because we've got that involved but i actually aimed right on the fly this, we got a candle you're wondering why that box is sitting there let's keep the little bit of air going that that is happening keep it away from the wick we're going to try and out in the candle with a springer at 50 yards all right 
So we're gonna go back 50 yards and see, we got the Hawk 4 to 12 on here. See if we can out in the candle with a Springer. All right. Maybe I don't need that anymore. So you guys can see that there's no trickery going on here. It should be okay. Let's see what happens. Phones up the haze.